first ones, the early ones. I was in this room in 1970 for the first convention. There were like 400, 500 people there. And we thought that was the biggest thing in the world. Now there's 400, 500 heading you in line to buy a diet Snapple. <laughs> and I love the, the convention the way it is now. I love the convention the way it was then. I love the convention was at the El Cortez. I think we should all go over to the El Cortez and put Sharp Repellent in the pool. How many people remember the year at the El Cortez when we were at like 3 in the morning, the fire alarm system went nuts? How many remember the time that... What? No, I didn't do it. The time of the, in the middle of Saturday morning, all the lights went out in the dealer's room for 24 hours. Um, one of the things that's wrong with the convention these days is not enough stuff goes wrong. <laughs> the lights went out. One of the room. things that I think is amazing to look at is when you're down at that. I, I just was just over at the Hard Rock. I went over. I did the uh, the Ray Bradbury tribute over at the, uh, the uh, uh, Bayfront Hilton, and then I went over to Hard Rock and came here. And I walked all throughout the whole city. And I remember walking through this city. When to walk over there was all tattoo parlors and massage parlors and bars full of sailors that were thrown out. What? The institute of hypnosexism across from the uh, hotel, the hotel San Diego, I think it was. And one of the things that the, that the kind of convention did is all of that. That Hilton is there because of the comic convention, and the Marriott is there because of the comic convention, and the convention center is there because of the comic convention. The entirety of San Diego was reborn because of this convention, and this convention, of course, exists because of people like Shel Dorf, Ken Kruger, Mike Towery, Richard Al, Scott Shaw, everybody who worked on the early conventions, even, even the people who just carried, painted signs and carried spears have a share of that. And they're responsible for it, and it's great that we're all celebrating them at this event because uh, we proved that comic fans have a lot of power. We brought a city back to life. Thank you.